On the show this morning, police begin probe into reverse explosion. Balarabe Abbas collapses during screening for ministerial nominee. And also we'll be looking at the headlines on some of our national dailies on Off the Press. Very good morning to you and thanks for joining us on The Breakfast. My name is Nyamgul Agaji. It's always a pleasure knowing that you are there and watching us. Today is Thursday and we hope that you're thinking about business because on Thursday we remind you all the time whether our topic has to do with business or not to think a business when you have to earn that extra income into your pocket, into your bank account you know that you have to start a business. Whatever it is, let it be legal, let it be wholesome, let it be something that someone can copy and do as well. Um, but like they say, in business, you need to collaborate with a lot of other people. So if you're going solo and you want to grow bigger, look for people of like minds and collaborate with them. Do a partnership and you will grow. Even if it is farming that you have to do, if you go alone, you might be uh, slower than you want to be ordinarily. So look for a partner that you can collaborate with and do that business and blossom. You don't have to wait for the government all the time and you don't have to um, you know, make one thing suffer for the other. So look for something, especially when you're thinking about tech. A lot of things are happening, you work remotely. So when you are in your office and you have time for lunch, you could just use a part of that. Some people do it for five minutes, for 10 minutes, and they're still getting something in return. There are a lot of things that are possible these days, even from the comfort of your home. Once again, welcome to uh, our show this morning. We're starting on a very uh, sad note that a pregnant lady, lady and another person uh, died as the driver fleeing from LASMA officials uh, rams into a tricycle. Now, two persons, uh, that, these are the details of the story so far that we know, two persons, including a pregnant woman, have died while others were injured when a driver fleeing from officials of the Lagos State Traffic Management Authority uh, that we know as LASMA rammed into a tricycle around Ago Palace Way in the Okota area of Lagos State. And the spokesman of the Lagos State Police uh, Command, Benjamin Hundayin, described the Tuesday incident as ugly and noted that the injured are being treated in an undisclosed hospital. The driver fled from last month officials when they accosted him for driving against traffic. Aside the two fatalities of the incident, two children are also currently receiving treatment in hospital. According to Hundayan, following the incident, a mob attacked the policeman uh, attached to the LASMA team and was, uh, grievously, he was grievously wounded in the attack, which at the time of the statement was still unconscious and being treated in hospital. Hundayan, however, said a probe into the matter had begun. And there are so many things that uh, arise from uh, this story. Uh, we do not know why the person took uh, one way, and it is so wrong. Every time it is wrong uh, to take one way. Like I said on the show uh, the other time, also the people who are in charge should know that there should be designations of this one way so that people get to know. I'm not saying that this person was ignorant of that fact. Another thing is that the authorities themselves drive one way. So who is to hold who responsible for things like this when they happen? We show bad example. And when you show bad example, if you're a parent at home, you see that a lot of things that your children do, uh, they just do them out of uh, the fact that they've been seeing you do it. So when I, whenever we are arresting people for one way, we should also be mindful of the fact that uh, if People who should be showing good example are driving one way. There's a mechanism that we can use to also arrest them. Everything has been so abused in Nigeria that you hear a siren. Instead of people clearing the way for this siren, we know that 90% of the time it's for nothing. Just someone, maybe a madame, a madame of a gas wife going to the market and you're blowing a siren for her. Or just uh, two people, two policemen, or just the driver. 
in the car or in the truck and they're blowing sirens so that people clear the way. They're taking one way, they're doing so many bad things. Now people are copying and all that. So I'm not blaming one person. I'm blaming the person who took the one way. I'm blaming the agency that should sign, uh, show sign in the place in case that was the case that this person didn't know. I'm blaming also uh, whoever has been taking one way, whether you are in government or not. A lot of people do this. I'm blaming everybody. The society has failed these people who have lost their life. A pregnant woman, and, and that means that uh, those are, that's more than one life, the woman and the baby inside, and then another person who died as well. So at least three people have died in that incident. Whatever the fault may be, first of all, we pray that the people whose lives uh, have been cut short will find rest in the bosom of the Lord. And the people who are responsible for this accident happening, whether they be Lasma or the police or the driver himself, whoever is still alive and is, uh, uh, is supposed to face the music should face the music. Uh, why would police be, uh, or Lasma, be in pursuit of someone until something as terrible as this happens? Uh, not too long ago, last year or the year before last, there was an incident uh, around grammar school or, or Bega, or Molly Grammar School, they call it, uh, around Bega Axis or to do Bega Axis. Uh, the same thing happened. Last month, officials and the police, the combined effort, they were, they were in pursuit of a very uh, big truck. And then it had an accident at that place. A lot of people died. People were burned to death. A lot of people were injured in such a bad way. Some of them died in the hospital and all that. Why does it always have to be this way? You're in pursuit of someone. Is there no uh, way of catching these people without having to put the lives of people who didn't even know anything about it at risk? Uh, the authorities should look uh, very closely into this. We've, we know that there are instances where numbers are just taken by special cameras that do that. And then at any point in time where this person is stationary, you can just nab the person. And well, I don't know how this works, but it should not be a, a thing in Nigeria that any time we hear of accidents, sometimes it's because the authorities, the sh supposed authorities are in pursuit of someone and is running away from them. And why would you run away from the law uh, in the first place? First of all, you are at fault. You should stay and answer it. But you also know that sometimes uh, these people uh, just do what they should not do. They are holding your phone, they're searching your phone, they're extorting you, they're they are cooking up stories against you and all that, and so people uh, do this all the time. But we do hope it will not happen anymore. Then there are four people who have been arrested over the murder of a former customary court of appeal president. And uh, this is coming from Benue State, where the police have arrested these four persons in connection with the murder of a former president of the customary court of appeal, late Justice Margaret Igbeta, whose decomposing body was found on the 24th of August 2023. The commissioner of police in Benue, Bartholomew Onyeka, who disclosed this while briefing journalists in McCurdy, said the principal suspect and nephew of the late justice, Mr. Audu Joseph, orchestrated the murder. We've carried the story uh, several times on our bulletins uh, telling you how this happened. According to uh, the police officer, um, Joseph enlisted the services of one, uh, one more man who worked in a cohort with the driver and gate man of the late justice to gain access to her and stabbed her multiple times in the chest. While speaking to journalists, the principal suspect said he now regrets his action which stemmed from the refusal of his late aunt to hand over land, land title documents that is, belonging to his father to him after many failed family interventions. Remember the father uh, had died and according to him left a lot of properties. So he then resorted to self-help, killing the deceased justice to remove the documents from her home in McCurdy. Whatever it is, whatever the provocation, it should never ever lead to the killing of someone. Uh, why not struggle on your own? Uh, why not just say, I leave it to God? Uh, because in so many cases, that is what we say in Nigeria. God, D, uh, your, your political 
leaders are doing something to you and you cannot ask the question. You say, God, they, uh, your neighbor is doing something to you. Your whoever is doing something that is not good enough. And instead of you to act in a legal way, uh, maybe uh, do something very, very legal. Let me, let me still use legal. Go to court, uh, recall your, your, your senator, for instance, do one thing or the other. You say, God, they. Uh, God day in a poor man prayer. That's what we say all the time. So why not say God day and look elsewhere, pray hard, work hard, and succeed rather than killing someone? So now the title documents, will you get them? I'm asking the person if he could hear me, but he cannot anyway. Will the person get the documents now that he has been, uh, he has, he has been caught? Uh, well, he will not get this document. So why not just do the right thing? Leave everything to God or sue the person, even though you, you may feel that you may, might never win this case because the person in question is a, a person of the law. Uh, but you should just do the right thing and leave the rest to God as it is. Now you've been caught. Then the gate man is culpable. There another man maybe who is a hit man is there. And then the relation of this judge. So we never know where our enemy is coming from. God save us in this country. And not just in this country anyway. I'm not saying Nigeria is the worst country in the world. There are some others that are worse than ours. But also gunmen have kidnapped um, five Katsina University students. That's a story we have carried also. Katsina State Police Command on Wednesday confirmed the kidnap of five female students of the Federal University uh, Dusinma. Uh, the police also confirmed that a man suspected to be an informant of, or to the terrorist had been arrested. However, no details concerning the incident were provided um, as of Wednesday morning. The spokesman for the Katsina Police Command, uh, ASP Abubakar Ali, who confirmed the incident and the arrest as well. So residents revealed that the terrorists invaded the private residence of the victims around 2 a.m. on Wednesday, shooting indiscriminately. And some residents also claimed that all the five kidnapped students were female and were final year students. Only a few students were also seen on the main campus as many of them had just finished writing their first semester examination. A 200-level computer science and information technology student, Abubakar Barda, was reportedly killed during a brawl with other students over a female student. And six students are currently being detained in connection with the incident. So a lot of things have been happening. But the incident of the kidnapped varsity students, the report was that from, from some of the uh, witnesses, or people very close to the incident. Uh, they said that the people came with very sophisticated arms and started shooting and then kidnapped these people. And what is uh, the authorities doing uh, to make sure that pro proliferation of these arms uh, is, 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 is something that is taken seriously? Because uh, there seem to be a porous way, uh, a porous uh, kind of... Uh, um, system that allows this kind of arms to get into the wrong hands and uh, unless something is really deliberately done it will continue to be a problem no matter how many guns the federal government buys so long as these other people most times are having more sophisticated weapons than even the people who are uh, the people authorized to keep the law uh, then we are going to be having these problems who is the person supplying these people? How can this channel of supply be cut? So are we going to be buying bigger guns than them, or are we going to make sure that there's no gun that is available to the people who can perpetrate this evil that they're perpetrating? We have bandits on the one hand, we have terrorists on the other hand, we have robbers, we have one chance that has become a thing here in Lagos uh, these days. All the time when you are listening to the news, you hear one chance, you hear robbers, you hear this and that. Lagos State is one of the safest states in uh, uh, Nigeria. It should stay that way. So whatever needs to be done, the authorities, please do your best to do it so that we can sleep with our eyes closed. We can travel at any time of the day and know that we are safe. Lagos is a time or oh, it's a city that never sleeps. That's how we would like to describe Lagos. So we should never have a time that we cannot travel because, or we cannot move from place to place because of fear of one chance or 
one thing or the other that might befall us on the way. It's still a breakfast on Plus TV Africa. We're just telling you some of the things that we were concerned in the course of the week uh, that came up on the news. And right now we're going to take a short break, hoping that when we return, we'll be looking at the headlines on our national daily. Just stay with us.